hello today I'm here with a new video and today I'm here with the first impression and this is the first impression on a whole new brand and I have talked about this brand for so long and it is Lethal Cosmetics this is a brand from Germany it's I think everything is vegan maybe or not but they are cruelty free and most of the things are vegan and I have talked about this brand for such a long time I have never ordered anything because I wanted this black magnetic hive palette and that has been out of stock for like one and a half month or something like that so yeah now I finally it finally came in stock so I ordered this and I love the front I don't know if you, yeah here you can see it's two like triangles and a B and then their logo and I love you metric things so I really love this palette and I was so sure that I was going to buy the I think it was the awakening collection but then I went to their site and started to build my own palette and I was like this was so fun and I couldn't decide all the colors that I wanted so I asked you on Instagram and a lot of you thought that my palette that I had looked good so I ordered that and I really liked it as well and the palette looks like these so these are the shadows that I chose I like the layout of it and it feels like it's the both new sides of me when it comes to makeup these two first rows are like what I have always loved and these are the two rows with things I have started to love so I am really really happy with these and they look amazing in real life I when I picked this up I opened the package in the car and then we went grocery shopping and when I came home I just sat down and put them in and just I, I loved it so I'm going to do a look with this palette today and I actually think that I'm going to use these two first rows because my shirt and yes I am not wearing black today I'm wearing I don't know it's not black but I was like maybe I have to try something new in life so yes I don't know how good it will go with my hair when I have dyed it orange again but we will see so I don't know if you want to know the name of the shadows because it's on the back and I don't want to pick them up so I can write down in the description and I will write from here that that and that what the name or what they are called and yeah i'm going to zoom you in and get started and i'm so excited because i've only heard so good things about lethal lethal cosmetics and okay and i thought that i can actually tell you which colors i'm using i just have to i have a picture with all the names on so i think i know what i want to do i want to do something like orange and i will start with cycle this one and that I will put in my whole crease and I like don't want to ruin the pattern in this and before I choose which colors like the final palette I watched so many videos and swatches and everything I could find because if you saw it so it, it's now yellow in this one. I took this one instead of a yellow shade. And that's only because I have a lot of yellows. And I was like, maybe this is going to be the only palette that I buy from Lethal. Or maybe not, but maybe only one palette this year. And then I don't want to take the colors that I already have. And that is something like I have changed about my makeup thinking now throughout my low buy. And that feels... It feels cool that something has happened at least. It was so fun to sit on their website and just play 
with the different colors and like move them around. I think all brands that have single shadows should do it because I think it's so hard when you're just taking one single at a time to know how it will look in the end because it's so hard. I really like this and I feel that the pigmentation is good. I can't like decide if I want to use this one or this one. I was first like I'm not going to swatch this because I don't I don't want to have to know what I'm giving myself into but now I have to swatch. So it's either this one or this one. That didn't help. I think I want to take this matte shadow too so maybe it goes better with this one. But I think I actually will go in with Can I bend this back? With this one cascade and put it in my crease just to deepen it down. But I don't want too much. So now we will see how this is looking. Just a little bit. And we also can see how they are building on each other. Okay, I don't know if this was the right choice to make. but Okay, so something like this. And now I want to go in with both of these two. This is... Okay, this was Cascade. I don't know if I said it. And this is Echo. And this is Defense. I'm going to go in with both of them. On my lid so we can see how they both will perform so I will start with defense and I'm taking my Linda Holberg brushes they seem to pick it up good and I will take this on my outer corner of the lid and maybe these do not need to be sprayed I know that you can spray shadows even though they don't need it just to have them like more foiled but I think that some shimmer shades need to be sprayed to be like visible but this one doesn't need it at all and then I'm going in with Echo this one in my inner corner or on my inner lid Maybe this was a little bit more weaker. I thought that they felt the same. But this seems to be a little bit more harder. Hardly, more hardly pressed. But I think if I pack it on, it works. It's not impossible, but it's not like the defense shade. I don't know if these are the same formulas. I'm always so bad to like look that up. What is a shimmer and what is a foil and what is a gl pressed glitter. Okay, pressed glitter is maybe not so hard, but I hope you get what I mean. I am always so bad at that. I just like... Oh, I think this is shimmer. I use it and then it's like, okay, it was not a shimmer, it was a metallic. But I think I like this. This echo was maybe a little bit more pink than the defense, but it doesn't matter to me. I think I just will go in with Cycle, the one I had in my crease and just Blend it out a little bit. It feels like this echo shade is like this. It can be if you put it with maybe like other pink shade. It is looking more pink. But if you pair it with orange. It looks orange. And I really like that. And I think it's one other thing I want to do. I think I want to take this trespass. 
a little bit on my outer corner and we will see how this lays on top over a shimmer and I take it a little bit up in my crease okay. that was a good choice I think and that's that okay, this lighting situation you maybe think that after all these years I should be good at these settings, but no. Okay, I think I don't know if you can see any difference, but I think this made made it a little bit better. Okay, so I think the lids are finished, and I have some fallouts, and I like always get fallouts because I don't do my base first, so I don't give a damn if I got fallouts because I'm going to. <laughs> do my base afterwards so it's hard for me to say if these you can fix it without getting fallouts I guess because it's never impossible but I like have no base on base on so I don't care but I like the lids like this I think I think they look good I don't really know what I want to do in my inner corners but I or my I think I know what I want to do on my under eyes, but in my inner corners, I think I know what I want to do. But I will fix my base and my brows, and then we'll be back, and we fix the rest of the eyes. So, okay, for my under eyes, I will go in with Trespass and Cycle, and I will start with Cycle, the one that I had in my crease, and just take it the whole way. And then just deepen down the outer corner with Trespass, just as I did on the lid. And then I take Trespass, just out here, to not have like super dark on the lid and then not dark on my lower lash at all. Just like a little bit like that. So, like that, and for my inner corner, I will actually try to take this this one, this shimmery lime, and that is, yes, I have to check on my phone, Vertex. And I swatched it, and I want to spray it because I really want it to be bright. Something like that, and I think this actually works. I really hope it does at least. Okay, so something like that, and I think I like these eyes. They have been so good to work with these shadows, but I will put on mascara, some lipstick, and something in my wash line, and then I come back and I talk a little bit more about my first impression and what I think and what I feel about these shadows. So I will just fix everything and then I will be back. So this is my finished look. For my waterline I used Electric Daisy from Colourpop to like connect the inner corner and the uh, waterline. And for my lips I took Better Off from Colourpop. It is a lipstick and no it was not that lipstick I was intended to use at first. And that is the finished look and I really like this one. I like that it's both like pink but orange and it's onto the echo shade really really like it it will be so fun to play with this more and see how like it looks with orange more orange and with pink shades and also maybe with a black and yeah i have used six shades so i have used these three shades these two and this one and my first impression of these that they are so good easy to work with easy to blend easy to everything and i am really happy and it's going to be so fun i think my next look will be with this corner instead this blue green corner and like these two shades 
it's going to be so fun to play with this more and I'm so happy with the shadows and it went pretty fast when I ordered I can't really remember when I ordered but they are from Germany which is in Europe and I live in Sweden which is also in Europe so for once things are going super fast to me and yeah I really really like these shadows my first impression is really good so I will leave down in the description which colors I have in the whole palette and I can mark the shadows that I have used and I can also leave I will leave the website to Lethal Cosmetics um, and I would recommend you if you want something from them just go in there and play a little bit and see what you like and yeah that was all for this video it's going to be so fun to play with this more and I really hope you like this and if you're not subscribed to my channel please do so you don't miss any of my videos and I hope I will see you in the next one bye